a coalition of over 350 civil society organizations, human rights activists, media executives have passed a vote of confidence on the President Muhammad Buhari's led government. The group were responding to claims by another coalition that had passed a vote of no confidence on the present administration described them and their foreign collaborators as fifth columnists, enemies of Nigeria that are bent on bringing down the government at all costs. Addressing a news conference in Abuja, president of the coalition, Omoba Aigbebe, said their submission is informed by developments that have characterized governance in the last six years. We call on all well living Nigerians and the international community to jettison, disregard this in the end orchestrated by a vile element who have sworn for their self inordinate ambition and measured courage. These co travelers of CSOs, NGOs, and groups, masquerading themselves as conscious of the nation, have been whining and dining with this same present administration since they took over the mantle of leadership in 2015. Now, our findings have revealed that instead of offering positive and constructive advice, the group prefers rather to go cap in hand, soliciting and arm twisting the present administration to hack into their outrageous demands. Failure to which they now cajole and blackmail the present administration in order to achieve their selfish agenda. Despite the challenges, they gave kudos to efforts by government to weather the storm. We are saying that the president is trying. We are saying the president has repositioned the country. We are saying the president has rebranded the country. We are saying that yes, there are pockets of challenges here and there, banditry kidnapping here and there. But it's normal in a developing society. We will pass this phase, but we need to work together as our brother's keeper. We need to look, look out for each other. Let me tell you, security is not only in the hands of the president, the state governors, or the service chiefs. You and I have a responsibility to give them information, to tell them what is happening in our domain and our local communities. But we don't have that. You don't have that. So when you don't have that, how do you want security, to the problems to be solved just like that? It is not possible. We need everybody to be on deck. This country belongs to you and I. If anything happens to Nigeria today, I assure you we will also fight. Just of recent, the Ministry of um, Labor across the country, 774 local government areas, they are employing youths, giving employment to youths and empowering women. How can we now say the president is not working? You and I today can drive from here through the rail transportation from here to Kaduna, from here to Oshogo, and you say the president is not working. It is not possible. What we will say is that what he met on ground was comatose, was colossal, and he has been trying his best. But like I said, the population of Nigeria is too much. You cannot satisfy everybody, but you just try your best. And what we are saying is that the president has done so much. The group further called for the continued support of programs and policies of government aimed at giving all Nigerians a better future. CNN News.